Hello folks and welcome filming in 1080. So today's video you clicked on important Firefox update. So I'm going to take you to um, the Linux Mint blog area and if you don't know uh, about the Linux Mint blog and you're a fan of Linux Mint uh, it can be a fun read from month to month. Now Clem produces those and uh, this month it has something to do with Firefox and I do recommend that you read that if you're an avid fan of Linux Mint. Doesn't matter what desktop, Cinnamon, XFC, or Mate, okay? Again, filming in 1080, but I'm doing this on LM22.1 Cinnamon. Subscription logo should be floating in the corner of a person with yellow brackets. If you don't see that, you can go find me on YouTube. Linux for Seniors is the name of the channel, but Linux is for all ages. And if you do subscribe, I'm going to click on this. I would highly suggest as a new subscriber to read my posts and my mission statement or the about section. I have some links in there for you. And don't forget about this powerful search feature here. This searches all of those 529 videos for keywords. All right, now I'm going to continue. So I have a special icon that I made for Linux Mint here. This is a web-based icon and I showed videos on how to do this to any website. But in either case, if you don't have a web-based icon, you go to linuxmint.com using any web browser for that matter. Look for links, scroll over to the blog. So Clem produces this monthly, sometimes late and more importantly, monthly. So you can read about the fun stuff he and his team is working with. And in this month's blog, we have an important Firefox update. So today's date is March 10th. In four days, the root certificate used by Firefox will expire. And I encourage that you read this for yourself. And also if you're using these other versions of Linux Mint or LMDE. Again, I would read that for yourself. All right. If you're curious about other downloads, LMDE 6 is here and all versions are in here. And that includes your old ones. And if you're looking for when they expire, you can see the dates that are in here. All right, now let's talk a little bit about browsers. You can get a lot of web browsers from the software manager or the software store. So out of this bunch, I have Brave, Chromium, Firefox comes natively installed with Linux Mint, and Google Chrome you will not find in software manager. I will show you how to install it though. And then LibreWolf I don't know too much about. I've had people make mention of this web browser but it is a, a custom version, I believe, of Firefox. And we will click that open a little bit later. I'm going to start with Google Chrome, though, because it's not in the software manager. And, and if you want it, how do you install it? Well, use any web browser. I'm going to use Firefox and type in the search engine Google Chrome. Whenever you are installing web browsers outside of the software manager, go directly to the main website. A reputable website would be, in this case, google.com. So um, if you're running this on Linux Mint 22 Cinnamon, it will more likely detect your system. So download Chrome for Linux. But which one of these would you pick? And do you know what these are? Well, if you don't, I will explain them. 64-bit generally refers to what kind of, if you're running a 32-bit system or a 64. Most modern computers for the last 10 years plus have been using 64-bit. RPM stands for Red Hat Package Management. And it's got brackets Fedora because Fedora is a Red Hat type of system, an open SUSC. The one above this says .deb, that stands for Debian, for Debian and Ubuntu based packaging, because Ubuntu is based off of Debian, hence Linux Mint 22 Cinnamon is an Ubuntu system packaging, but it's based off of Debian. So that's why we're using Debian. Accept and install, and it will download this file here, which you do not have to use anything but point and click. This one is 100 and uh, we'll call it 115 megabytes. All you do is double click on it. The, the Debian installer should open this up for you. 
but it also at the same time will check to see if you have it installed and the same version. So I have a reinstall instead of an install key. But yours will probably just say install and you click that and let it finish. Two things are going to happen. One, it's going to install that here where you can put uh, these things all over your desktop, panel, desktop or favorites. But at the same time, it will put it in the software section, software sources. I'm going to log into here. Sam is just a made up name. And uh, you got your regular sources coming from Mint and Ubuntu in this case, because it's LM22. Otherwise, this would say Debian if it's LMDE6. But the additional repository, it will now say Google on it. So it will keep up your updates for the browser right through the updater. Okay. So let's go back on topic. So I have Brave, Chromium, Firefox, Google Chrome, and LibreWolf as web browsers installed. There are many others out there. Vivaldi, um, Opera, and many more. But I'm just showing you a couple. I'm skipping over Firefox because we're just talking about other browsers. So Brave is uh, one of those, and I actually use it. And it's a security-centric browser. That means it has a lot of different, uh, different kind of security stuff. And it also has a private window with Tor. Now, Tor is kind of like uh, something that you want to hide your tracks, as they say. Um, and you can read more about Tor and Tor networks on your own. But this is uh, a fairly decent browser that I actually use. The LibreWolf I don't use. I don't know too much about it, other than it uses DuckDuckGo for their default search engine. And this browser is based off of Firefox. It's a custom version. Okay. So you can give that a, uh, a run. So again, I installed Google Chrome and then I installed Chromium. Now Chromium you can get from your software manager. And you can probably tell these icons almost look identical except in color. They have a large relationship, let's put it that way. So if you have a Google account, an email account, for instance, you can sign in and uh, then you'll get access to your, your little applications like your Gmail and your Google Drive. And I think they offer a five gig free and you can purchase more. You also have the Google Calendar, which actually interfaces with this calendar also. That's all down through here. So and the, um, where is it at? It's probably staring me right in the face. Well, I, I have a second way of finding it. So I'm, I'll just type in calendar. So the calendar up here also has a hamburger menu with online accounts. Okay, and you can see Google is right here. And you can see other services too. But anyways, moving along. So um, you can just sign in and you'll have access to all these apps also whatever you, they're offering you. Now you can do the same with the Chromium web browser. Okay, same deal in here. All right, so essentially these two web browsers operate almost identically, almost. And again, there are many other flavors out there. So you choose, um, good choices are to add to Firefox as maybe the Chromium or maybe the Brave or even maybe the Google Chrome. Again, I don't know too much about LibreWolf, other than that it's uh, kind of like a spin-off of Firefox or a custom version of it. So I will say thank you for watching. And don't forget, go visit that uh, website on Linux Mint to read that blog by Clem. Thank you for watching.